Donald Trump has finally responded to Howard Stern after years of criticism from Stern on his radio show, calling him a broken weirdo, a weak, pathetic, disloyal guy, uh, and that everyone stopped caring about him once he went woke. This is a beef that I've been waiting to crack off for seven years now. Because when Trump first started running, he did call into the show back in 2016, 2015, but you could tell that Howard was not a supporter. He even turned down Trump's invitation to uh, present him with the nomination at the Republican National Convention. And then I think out of respect for their friendship, Howard really wasn't too vocally critical of Trump during his time in office until COVID. And then, of course, in the post-presidency with the indictments and all that, Howard has been much more vocal in his criticism of Donald Trump. Trump, though, always kept quiet. He never said anything about this. There was a point where Donald Trump Jr. went after Howard a couple years back, calling him Hollywood Howie and all that. And everyone wanted to see how Howard was going to respond. He, he went after Trump uh, Jr. and Eric Trump's love of hunting animals. But it wasn't too vicious. But he has kept up his criticism of Donald Trump Sr. And... Um, he, you know, he's got impersonators on the show and it's funny and all that. But uh, Trump never, ever spoke about it until now. I think because he actually is probably kind of hurt by this. I think he considered Howard a friend. I think they had, you know, as close a relationship as they could have without being like buddy-buddy. But like Howard would go down to Mar-a-Lago. Howard talks about how he was at Mar-a-Lago before Trump announced trying to convince him not to and telling him, look, you got such a great life, why would you even want to do this? So I think it really did hurt Donald. As much as Donald Trump can be hurt, personally, that Howard was uh, went from not even supporting him to just being outright uh, an outright outspoken critic. He seems to have seen a segment on Fox News in the past few days that was uh, talking about Howard's announcement that he's proudly woke and Howard believes that being woke is uh, not, not um, means you're not following Trump. You're not a supporter of Trump and that you're, you're, you're okay with trans people and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's interesting that Donald finally felt like it was the time to go after his old friend. As it says here, he's a weak, pathetic, disloyal guy, lost his friends and much of his audience. He went woke and nobody cares about him any longer. His influence is gone and without that, he's got nothing. He even questions how much Sirius XM is really paying Howard. The real question is, which Howard is going to come back at Trump? Is he going to go for like a vintage 90s? vicious Howard Stern takedown? Is he going to be more measured and more mature about it? Is he going to ignore Donald and think, oh, I'm not even going to give him the attention that he's craving? I'm waiting to see. I, Like I said, I've been waiting for this for a long time because it's been brewing. And, um, you know, it's, it's a beef that is personal. For both guys. I think Howard feels betrayed by what Trump did in office and especially how he handled COVID and then, you know, the efforts to overturn the election. And Donald clearly feels betrayed by Howard's lack of support morphing into real criticism, con consistent criticism of him. So it's a personal beef. There are hurt feelings on both sides, I'm sure. But it's interesting to see Donald finally show it. Because, you know, the thing is, Trump goes after anybody. Anybody that tweets about him, talks about him, he had always just immediately fired back. And the fact that he never directly fired back at Howard was very telling. So it's going to be fascinating. I'll be listening to the Howard Stern Show tomorrow to see what Howard says and to see if Trump responds in kind. And uh, it's just, you know, it's, uh, it, it's it, it hope, I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping for something very entertaining at the very least. 
And as far as Howard going woke and all that, you know, he always was fairly liberal when it came to, uh, you know, social issues. It wasn't woke back then, but he was always kind of left I mean, look, he did a show. He had to do a radio show. He had to get ratings so things would be shocking and over the top. It was entertainment, you know, just because he, I don't think he necessarily, some of his worst moments that people love to bring up, I don't think that's necessarily the real guy or how he really feels. He did that because in morning radio, you had to get listeners and then hold listeners. It was a totally different thing from, from podcasts. So, he, but even still, like, you know, you know, he was, he was usually like a uh, fiscally conservative socially liberal type of guy. So it shouldn't come as a shock to people that he falls under the, uh, under the uh, more, that, that he like aligns himself more with the woke side today. Um, and yeah, I'm sure a lot of people have jumped ship. A lot of listeners who are Trump supporters no longer find that their sensibilities align with Howard's. And, you know, that's okay. I mean, look, he's been doing this for 40 years. He's not going to keep the audience forever. People change. He changes. And that's always been the crux of the show, is that it's really just who he is and who the people around him are and, uh, at that moment in time. You know, so it's, it's a living, breathing organism, the Howard Stern show. Uh, and, and so, you know... If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. 